In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix this error message saying that Secure Boot is not enabled on this machine when trying to launch FIFA 23 on your Windows 11 computer. So the main reason why you're getting this error message is simply because Secure Boot is not enabled. So the way to fix this error is to simply enable Secure Boot and this can be done within the BIOS. But if your computer does not have the Secure Boot option, then the only other option you're going to have is to go back to Windows 10 because there's no other way of getting around this error message unfortunately at the time of doing this video. So as long as you can enable secure boot then you're going to be okay but if you installed Windows 11 using some sort of registry tweak within Windows 10 to bypass secure boot to install Windows 11 as it is required then unfortunately you're going to have to roll back to Windows 10 if you want to play FIFA 23. So the first thing that you need to do is simply just close this error message and then just press cancel and we now need to restart our computer and enter into BIOS. Just to confirm though that secure boot is not enabled you can check this out by opening up the start menu and then typing in system information. You then need to open up system information. Once you're on system information you will then see the option that says secure boot state and as you can see mine says off. So we need to change this to on. So I'm now going to restart my computer into the BIOS. To enter the BIOS will depend on what computer you have, but sometimes it can be the delete key, it can be F11, F10, F2, it can be any of these options. You will just want to look out for the option when you restart your computer saying enter BIOS. If you can't figure out how to enter the BIOS, then on system information where it says baseball product, that is what your motherboard is. So you can then go onto Google and search your motherboard and then find out how to enter the BIOS on that motherboard. Okay, so once you're in the BIOS, you now need to enable secure boot. So depending on what motherboard you have will depend on how you can do this. So I'm using an MSI B550. So if you have an MSI motherboard, then the methods for you should be very similar to what I have to do. If you don't, then you may have to Google how to enable secure boot on your motherboard but it's normally pretty similar to this. Also, I'd like to just say when making changes in the BIOS, just be very careful because if you do make the wrong change, then you could end up breaking your computer. So the first thing that you need to do is go onto settings, then advanced. We now need to go onto Windows OS configuration, then secure boot. You now need to select secure boot and we then need to choose enabled and we can now go ahead and save this and restart our computer. So if you press escape, it will then pop up saying save, go ahead and save and restart back into Windows. And there we go, as you can see, it now says secure boot state on. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.